rests on the shoulders of Tommy Maddox, number eight. That's right, Tommy Maddox, the L.A. quarterback, has been getting off to a slow start. He better not tonight or Chicago's going to jump all over him. And also, J.R., he better not get hurt because Scott Milanovic, his backup quarterback, his wife, Jamie, is nine months pregnant, five days overdue. She's here in the stadium, and who knows? That baby may be on its way. Tonight could be tonight, and certainly Chicago rests their hopes on the XFL Player of the Week, John Avery, an outstanding running back. John Avery is an explosive running back, and L.A. is going to have to contend with him on what is kind of a soggy field, which is an advantage to the runner. Avery has the very Sanders-like uh, tendencies, and ladies and gentlemen, here's an update on uh, more on the, uh, Jamie, uh, the Jamie situation of pregnancy. Let's have this update now. This is Stephanie McMahon. The helicopter behind me is ready to take L.A. Extreme quarterback Scott Milanovic to the hospital should his wife Jamie go into labor. Jamie's already four days overdue, and Scott is not about to miss the birth of their first child. We're incredibly excited for Scott and Jamie. Now, we're going to get this game started before that baby gets born. Let's go to Mike Adam Lee. There is no coin toss in the XFL. We don't believe that random chance should decide the start of a football game. We don't believe in heads and tails. What we do believe in is heads and hearts. So the players will decide who kicks off and who receives in a scramble for the football. One player representing each team will line up on the 30-yard line side by side. On the referee's whistle, they will sprint to the ball and the player who first gains complete possession of the football will win the scramble and his team will get the choice of kicking off or receiving. Representing the visiting Chicago Enforcers, 5'10", 185, a quarterback from Florida State, Troy Saunders. Representing the hometown Los Angeles Extreme, 6'1", 198, a former Clemson Tiger, number four, Larry Ryans, our referee, Randy Crystal. These men not wanting to uh, maintain some eye contact there, Jesse. <laughs> Larry Ryans from L.A. and Troy Saunders from Chicago will scramble for the ball. Here we go. They're off. Two men for the ACC. And L.A. has, has won the scramble. Larry Ryans has won it, so Los Angeles will get their choice. These guys are pumped up as well they should be as we take another look at the scramble, Jesse. There you see it. Ryans gets a head start, makes the dive over the top, and gets the scramble for the ball. Well, ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, we'd like to take you back to the locker room where both coaches have the opportunity to address their teams. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, right? Man, we gotta fly around, make things happen, execute, be on top of things, be sharp, execute, key, and fly around and hit the man right in the mouth. If we come off the ball offensively, we come off. 
everybody comes off. Avery, we got to have a commitment. Everybody's got to run to the ball. Don't try to be a hero. You're going to get help. Okay? Play it and have fun playing it. The way you have fun is you play with the passion and you win. That's what the XFL is all about. That's right. Pay for play. Quarterbacks earn $5,000 per game. All other players, $4,500. Kickers, $3,500. $2,500 bonus to each player for each win. $7,500 per player for a playoff win. And, of course, the big... Stephen Fisher brings it back out. That's where Orlando will start their night. Who better to introduce the Orlando starting offense than the Orlando offense? Tony Gator, Miami, Florida, wide receiver. Derek Clark, running back, Evangel Collins. Mario Bain, wide receiver, University of Washington. Diallo Berg, wide receiver, Eastern Kentucky University. Jeff Brown, quarterback, University of Louisville. Jeremy Akers, University of Notre Dame, right tackle. That's Coach Gale. John Love, offensive guard, Penn State University. Cal Dixon, center, University of Florida. Jason Gamble, left guard, Clemson. Dan Collins, left tackle, Boston College. A lot of meat on that offensive line for Orlando. Jeff Brom had a huge game last week for the Orlando Rage. 217 yards, four TDs against the Chicago Enforcers in week one of the season. I bet he'd like to just quit while he was ahead. I mean, he had a career night last week. <laughs> rip, 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 rip. Orlando, they scored a touchdown on their first offensive play last week. Let's see what they do tonight. You got a man in high motion. That short passing game started out nicely. That one's complete. Kevin Swain. King, I understand there's a complete power failure at the well, Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. You know, that's a pretty old building. Well, you know, I didn't believe that guy would really do it. I asked the guy just to unplug the electricity. He really did it. We're on the air nationwide. We'll bring you back to Los Angeles as soon as they figure out uh, the King's buddy and put him in jail and turn the lights on in that joint. Go! Orlando picking up right where they left off last week. Brom handing to Derek Clark for a few. I'm telling you, this is a high-powered offense for Orlando. Check the San Francisco defensive line. Miles, Hanson, Cousins, and Eric England, who had a big game last week against L.A. Linebacking core, James Williams, Dave Thomas, and John Hanskins. The Stanford product, 
in the secondary, Wendell Davis, Pete DeStefano, a Cal Berkeley guy, Greg Williams, and Dwayne Harper, the oldest demon on the roster. That's Derek Clark trying to get around the side, cut down a flag on the play. Derek Clark's playing with two bruised ribs tonight, King. This is a guy who wants to be out there not only to help his team win, but you know what? There's 2,500 bucks on the line for everybody on the roster if you win tonight. That certainly plays a part in this thing. Second down where you see the Looks ball. like we got right illegal here. motion there against uh, yeah. Orlando. You're right. I mean, these guys, they need to be careful because they barely make enough money to cover hospital expenses. Ron, as we mentioned, had a big game last week, 15 to 33. Four touchdown passes. It was like Chicago was employing the old Swiss cheese defense against, against Orlando last week. Orlando moved the ball up and down the field at will. Never mind on the flag, we're told, as that was waved off. No penalty on the play. Oh, no harm, no foul. Looks like the same play. Michael Black in the backfield on a hand for a couple. Where you at, Black? Michael Black wasn't even on my card, King. <laughs> I don't think Jeff Brown knew who was. He said, where you at, Black? <laughs> Maybe he said, who are you? Dave Thomas, the middle linebacker, ran him out of bounds. Third down, 11 yards to go. Orlando needs to get it to the 25-yard line for a first down. And they need about 8 to 10 yards, I would think, for a field goal attempt. It is the Orlando Rage in the red jerseys, the San Francisco Demons, the road team wearing the white jersey tops. Oh, man, almost caught, almost picked off. Black couldn't hang on. One of the things I noticed last week about Orlando, the offensive line gives Jeff Brom all day to throw that ball. That pass really should have been caught. This is the most exciting fourth down league in the world, King. This is fourth and 11. For this punt to go 25 yards, if in fact the Rage decide to yeah, punt it. I think there's some, uh, there's a decision to be made. I guess they are going to punt now. Here comes the punting unit onto the field. Jeff Brom wanted to, I think Jeff Brom wanted to go for it. First time we've seen it tonight, and they're running out of time on the play clock. Only 35 seconds on the XFL play clock, and Orlando can't get its act together. Well, in actuality, I don't think that's going to hurt Orlando that bad. Uh... Five yards is not going to make that big a difference right here. Still no lights in, in uh, Los Angeles, huh? I guess not. <laughs> well, you know, I guess they, they, they already have to borrow electricity from other states, I think. <laughs> you had to go there. You had to go there. Well, now they'll kick it. Jay Taylor on to kick a West Virginia product, an old Don Nealon guy back in the day. James Hunden back to receive. Ball needs to get to the 11-yard line to go 25 and have it be a free ball. After 25 yards, anybody can jump on it and advance it. Hunden in his end zone. No fair catch in the XFL. What? Takes it out to the nine. Good hard hitting down there. XFL's not a contact sport, Matt. This is a collision sport. Let's check out this big, uh, looks like they're, they're, waiting, they're waiting around for a buffet or something. <laughs> <laughs> they had to install speed bumps at the James buffet Burns, here. James University of Miami. <laughs> Bill Duff, University of Tennessee. My buddy Bill. Ken Anderson, University of Arkansas. Ben Huff from the University of Michigan. <laughs> Sean Banks, Texas Tech. James Wilkinson, defensive end, Florida State University. Steve Fisher, North Carolina Tar Heels. Omar Brown, University of North Carolina Tar Heels. Rude Boy for life. Kelly Malvo, defensive back, University of Arizona. Corey Gilliard, defensive back, Ball State. Coming all day, baby. Coming all day. Corey Black, the only one that had anything to say other than name, rank, and serial number. This is an all-business unit that Mike Pulaski is going to start his day against. Head coach Jim Skipper was one proud man after the paw, the Polish rifle, had the huge game versus Los Angeles. 31 completions last week in the opener. 
And he's going to put it in the air, his first possession. Nothing for Juan Johnson as we check the Demons offensive unit. The line, Adams, Shippers, Kesselak, Hunt, and Dittman. They're good at the skill positions with Brian Roberson not getting the start. He's injured, taking his place as Tyus Winans, Hunden, Roach, Reeder, and Dunbar, the former NFL number one draft choice in the backfield with the Paul. That's Dunbar up the middle for a couple. Demons had trouble running the ball last week. Von Dunbar got only 10 of the team's 19 carries. And as you can see, and as King just mentioned, they are underway in Los Angeles, even though the lights are off. You know, it's still daylight out there, King. I would love to see a game played with total darkness. <laughs> Trying to get it to the 20 for a first down. A lot of noise from this crowd here in Orlando. Jimmy Cunningham, the man in motion. They call him Jimmy the Jet. Polowski buys some time for himself and dumps it out to Vaughn Dunbar. A first down and more. And that's the way you quiet the crowd here in Orlando. Well, Polowski had, to, had a little bit of time there, able to complete this pass out into the to the right flat here. That's the San Francisco Demons attack right there. Excuse me while I wrap that beach ball around a little bit. <laughs> hey. If that beach ball comes up again, you just take over. I got to play. I got a game to that play. That was my here. beach ball. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Dunbar in the backfield with Pulaski once again. They give it to Dunbar. Looks like they're going to try to get him started, but he is met head on. Nice hit. Sean Banks, the XFL Defensive Player of the Week last week. Starting out right where he left off against Chicago. It's gonna make you hear your teeth rattle when he hits you. Sean Banks is a guy Jim Skipper's offense need gonna stay away from. Had a huge week last week. And this is a guy who loves being in the XFL. He was working in masonry. He was working in retail. He was working with a, a computer company as a tech consultant. He'd much rather be here on the field. Get that right. Player of the week last week. Did they get it off? No, say the officials. I'll tell you, that 35-second play clock's already been a problem for both offenses tonight. Delay of game on the offense. Five-yard penalty remains second down. You got to get it going here in the XFL. This is like microwave football. You got to get that play called. You got to get that... Get up to the line and snap that ball. It's a 35-second play clock. It's a 10-minute halftime. Shorter than what a lot of these players are used to. As Shex Nader in motion, he had a big touchdown catch last week. And up it's Shex Nader for the grab. Oh, Calvin Shex Nader, they call him Shex. He's another guy who had a, a litany of odd jobs in the, uh, well, whatever. I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> what? I was just going to. Oh, my gosh. Madden, we got a quarter. I, I, I got to call my mom and tell her I just met the girl of my dreams. <laughs> wow. Come on, on behave. Come on now. They're, they're using our game now. Don't be goofing around. Oh, I'm not. The lights are off in L.A. Here's Pulaski getting out of trouble. Dumps it off to Brandon Young, the nephew of head coach Jim Skipper. I love it when these guys get up and get in their face. Omar Brown made the tackle for Orlando. San Francisco start to move the ball. Well, we got two undefeated teams here. Something's got to give tonight. Once again, as soon as we straighten out that situation in Los Angeles, we'll send you back to the Los Angeles Extreme and Chicago Enforcers. You're our problem now. Jamie Reeder in motion. Uh-oh, forgot the ball. Let it play action of sorts. It's Brian Roach, the tight end, who's dragged down. I don't know if that was a busted play or design, but... Look good either way. Eighth play of the drive for San Francisco. You tell me, is this? Yeah, great fake there. Oh, we bought it. 
but our cameraman was right on top of it. You know, Mike Pulaski, the quarterback of the Demons, is a broadcaster for his Cal Bear alum football team. Nothing we do up here is going to surprise him. Gets it away despite a blitz, and it's incomplete. That's his first incompletion of the night. Five of six for 50 yards. He's having a, quite a night. Last week in their victory against Los Angeles, Pulaski, 31 completions, as we mentioned. He found nine different receivers in that game. He was thrown it to the vendors by the third quarter. <laughs> well, that's his jersey number, number nine. He looked for nine different receivers. Got that offense spread wide open. They need to get it to the 28 for a first down. Flag on the play. Almost picked off. Reggie Doster had Tyus Winans covered well. Looks like the penalty may be against Orlando. Let's listen in. Nice hearing from you. Swan, you the back. Posse, posse. <laughs> That's big Cedric Clark. And they'll repeat the third down. Cedric's so big, it's hard for him to, to not be offside. He lines up anywhere in the field. Jimmy the Jet Cunningham in that high flash forward motion. Hand to Juan Johnson. They played it a lot. Orlando, no. Calvin Sexnader doing a little talking as he gets back to the huddle. He told us yesterday he's quiet and dignified. He looked like he was talking a little junk there. Well, what the, what the people that are watching TV right now didn't get to see was before this game started, uh, several of the of the San Francisco Demons had some disparaging remarks to make about the city of Orlando. <laughs> they did. But uh, Las Vegas for kids. Uh, uh, Pulaski and the Demons want to take time out and chat. They're on eight plays on the drive. You're watching the XFL on NBC. You know, that's the problem. You go to law school to become an actor. That's what he wants to do when his playing days are done. Chain gang to measure. Yeah, you betcha. First down. Wants to go to, I, I, wait a minute. I just caught that. He wants to go to law school to become an actor. Yeah, I don't understand the route either. Looking to make himself $2,500 richer tonight. 11th play of the drive. James Hunden in motion. Polish rifle going to throw it again. There's that law school actor tight end, Brian Roach. Well, they're still playing in the dark out there. <laughs> Take a turn scoring. <laughs> Again, we'll get you out to Los Angeles as soon as we can. You'll have a chance to see that beach they got set up in the end zone and some of the other fun at the L.A. Coliseum. Another first down for the paw. That was complete. Jimmy the Jet Cunningham as they get closer to the end zone. 
Brian Roberson, wide receiver, San Francisco. A huge week last week against Los Angeles. How much will your team miss you tonight? Oh, they should have missed me too much. I'm still here helping them out, seeing things that they don't see when they're in the game. And right now we got guys going there filling in for me, and we're not missing a beat. What play would you call right here? Right now, keep it on the ground and see if we can just stuff it in the hole. I think um, our running game is pretty good right now. This guy's already second-guessing his coach, man. He's on, his, he's on the iron for one week. Well, he wants to play it safe. First and goal here for San Francisco. That's Vaughn Dunbar up to the five. That is a loss for Jim Skipper's team and it's being without that guy that we just heard from. Because Brian Roberson last week, 12 catches, 127 yards. There's still a bunch of targets on this offensive attack for Pulaski to find. Again, Pulaski completed 31 passes using nine different guys last week. Rage crowd trying to make some noise and back up their defense, whose backs are against the wall. Well, they're making the noise, all right? This whole stadium is shaking. Cunningham in motion. He's got too much time. Gets it off to Roach, the tight end. Does he get in the end zone? No, that's the by the official there. They have touchdown. And that will not make Coach Galen Hall smile. If he didn't smile after a win last night, he's going to sure look chapped after this start. Yeah, there he is. Don't bite him yet. Don't start biting him. Here's the conversion try for San Francisco. In the XFL, there is no PAT kick. You got a runner to throw it in from the two-yard line. Jimmy the Jet in high motion. There's Jimmy the Jet. It was thrown behind him, but it's complete, and they convert the PAT. 7-0 San Francisco. Very impressive drive by the Demons. Take one more look at this uh, extra point. This is what counts oh, off actually the touchdown, yes. Oh, this was the touchdown, 14 plays, 90 yards. This play started from their own 10, and it burned eight and a half minutes. How much longer are you and I going to burn? <laughs> We're going to be here a while. <laughs> yes. And uh, it has been all offense thus far, Bobby. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know where the L.A. defense has been. Aaron Bailey, two catches for Chicago, 96 yards. They've scored twice. Tommy Maddox snuck from one, one yard out to make it 12-6. But you know what? Where else in, but L.A. would you lose your power? Now, I thought they just appropriated $10 billion or something to pay for electricity out here. Obviously, maybe the check bounced. Maybe so. The electrical company uh, flexing their muscle here, but we're back with you now. John Avery has scored a touchdown at 28 yards. Tommy Maddox scored the touchdown for Los Angeles on a one-yard keeper. But Maddox, who had to start quickly as a start efficiently, has done just that, Jesse. Well, he is been, seven of eight. And it's been interesting because Chicago scoring on big plays, short, you know, long drives, but relatively few plays. L.A. controlling the ball and marching down the field so far. Here we go, J.R. Andy Crossland out of uh, Miami with the kickoff, and Larry Ryan's the, the return man. And the ball advanced uh, a 13-yard return on the play. First and 10 for, for the uh, Los Angeles Extreme. A big nod here for Tommy Maddox, who played at UCLA. He knows the Coliseum very well. And as we said early on, Jesse, Maddox has got to start efficiently, and he has done just that. The big problem right now, JR, has been the L.A. defense. They cannot stop right here, Chicago right so far. Their offense is doing fine. Maddox, the quarterback, the ball on the 27-yard line. And Maddox with a kick out. The big pass to Copeland, the main Copeland, the former janitor. A man that was a janitor coming out of the University of Tennessee, played on their 1998 National Championship team, and recruited there, Jesse, as a, as a quarterback behind Peyton Manning. Well, Copeland with a lot of talent, and Maddox is going to be looking for him all night tonight, one of his prime receivers. Maddox, 8 of 9 for 70 yards. Oh, and there's a handoff to Rashawn Sheehy. Number 22, bringing it outside. And Sheehy says what he's made of. Sheehy, which we love, in the shadows of the Los Angeles Coliseum, just gained 12 yards. neighborhoods in the world, quite frankly. And there's a handoff to Rashad Sheehy. 
adolescent years in Watts. Just gained nine yards for his, his senior year. His mother, Linda, sent him to Bakersfield to play his senior year of high school football. <laughs> Live. Because hey, Liv. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Where'd it go? Eric! Eric! Eric Johnson! Second down and one. Ken Oxidine, the Ox. <laughs> <laughs> Step in hand. The play action. Maddox to the throw. And Maddox just got nailed. Big time hit by Casey Daly out of Northwestern. One of four very active uh, linebackers employed in Ron Myers' 3 4 defense. And a big play by Daly right there, coming in with the sack. Here you see Daly coming in. <laughs> Down goes Tommy Maddox. Emphatically. The try started at the 27-yard line of Los Angeles. Oxidine, the setback. And Maddox looking to throw. Maddox has time. Chicago, L.A. moving the football. 48. Rashawn Sheehy back in the ball game. Living his dream tonight. Playing in the Coliseum. And Tony Maddox, you heard. by Smooth Bush Beer, an easy drinking bush light. By Burger King, got the urge. <laughs> and by Vince Oil Synthetic, don't hold back. And by the United States Army, an army of one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, soon you will be looking uh, at uh, South Central LA. They call it Watts, one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the world. The neighborhood that LA tailback Rasheen she he grew up in, and of course they call him the truth. The truth is, growing up in the streets of Watts, my dream was to one day play in the Coliseum. And here today, my dream will come true. Oh, I tell you, you gotta feel good for this young man. Get the opportunity growing up right outside there. He is saying hi to mom. His mama is here. And he's having a darn good game so far running the football. Rashid's mama has had the same job for 30 years at the 32nd Street School. Just about 10 minutes from here. And Tommy Maddox, the quarterback. And Maddox gets into the 22. Rashawn Sheehy out of Washington. And Tampa made by Quincy Coleman. I tell you what, the XFL is about dreams coming through, playing for passion. You know, I like to call this the Rudy League. Let's go, eight trips, eight Rudy. trips. Rudy, absolutely. Great. Remember Rudy, the movie about the kid that wanted to play for Notre Dame? Absolutely. He's about the same way, I think. You could compare both of them. Go! Go! Run! 48! 48! And it's coming to signals, quick pass, quick out pass, and into the seat. Deflected at the line of scrimmage. Rashawn Sheehy is very proud of the fact that his mother is here tonight. Having the opportunity to see him play here in the historic L.A. Coliseum. And there's his mom, Linda Sheehy. Again, she's been a secretary at the 32nd Street School for over 30 years. But what a wonderful lady who got her son out of Watts. He moved to Bakersfield for his senior year of high school before winning a scholarship at the University of Washington. 48! Lord motion legal here in the XFL, and now it's a pass is complete. Troy, Troy Saunders on the tackle on that play, but again, L.A. marching down the field. Maddox shows, showing great voice and getting off to a good start tonight. And we are at the end of the, of the first quarter. Chicago came to...
20,000 fans, late arriving as they are, have gathered here in the Los Angeles at the Coliseum. Over 30,000 fans, over 30,000 fans have uh, jammed the Coliseum. We're a little late arriving there, buddy. Well, that's traditional in Los Angeles. You know, that's what's fashionable out here is arriving late. Like the football game here in progress, the cheerleaders entertaining this, this huge crowd here in Los Angeles, and the hometown team, the LA Extreme, down by six, but they have the football first and ten on the Chicago 22-yard line. Rashawn Sheehy. The truth. The truth. Right at the gut. And this young man has no fear. I can promise you. Oh, yeah. Don Sasso, the 330-pound nose tackle. Making the stop, the big man out of Washington State. On three, on three, on three. On seven three, carries, 38 three, yards thus far. 14, Charlie. On three, right? Undertaker, Undertaker, Undertaker. And that's not bad production after one quarter of play. Go, let's go, hold, hold, hold. 48. 48. Man in motion, there's some movement in the interior. And there's more laundry on the field. All right, that's easy. Well, Tommy Maddox did a hard count right there. Let's see if he drew him off or was there motion on the offense. Yeah, on number 54 on the defense. 54. And it goes on infraction. All right. No, you got your mind. So it looks like the defense. This is on infraction on the defense. It'll be a five-yard penalty and remains second down. The defense did not rest in that play. They sure didn't. And I'll tell you what's interesting, Jr. L.A.'s one for one tonight in the red zone. But last week, they only scored 13 points in six trips into that red zone. Second down and three. Ball is on the 16-yard line. Chicago for the 48. LA Extreme. 48! More forward motion. And Maddox, the quick dump ball to Rashawn Sheehy, the truth. Incomplete, however. And Jamie Baisley putting the pressure on Maddox on that play made him deliver the ball sooner than he wanted to out of the screen play into the flag. Here's a little look at the uh, little dump off by Maddox. He has some heat on him. There you see Bailey flopping him to the turf. And the one thing great about the XFL, we make our quarterbacks play. There's no sliding here. They get hit like a fullback. 48! Peel it, peel it, Ken. They're down for Los Angeles. Four motion to the top of your screen. Maddox looking to throw. And no uh, pass is incomplete. Intended for Ontario Rochelle. Speedy wide receiver out of Fresno State. Maddox 10 of 13 thus far. For 93 yards, and uh, it will be a, a field goal attempt. And boy, these these are adventures in themselves, Jesse. These kicks. Jose Cortez, a professional roofer, is kicking for Los Angeles. Well, I was watching him in pregame warm-up, a 34-yard attempt here, and he was bombing from 45 to 50. So he should go. Chicago with a 12 to 6 lead and folks up uh, I'm one ready Jim Lester the young kid from Western Michigan was teaching high school math when he got the call Flag, to come play in the XFL Flag 335 Dead. Lester to Avery. Avery is dangerous in space. Avery's got some room. Avery, top of Avery's like trying to pour smoke through a keyhole. John Avery, 22 yard gain. Avery already with a touchdown under his belt tonight. Last week. I had 250 all-purpose yards. I was voted XFL Player of the Week. But it doesn't mean anything. We still lost. But today, we will beat LA. Tim Lester giving the ball to John Avery, who you just heard from. Avery again turning the corner, and Avery out of bounds. Nice gain by John Avery. John Avery, certainly the XFL Player of the Week last week, 250 all-purpose yards, and he was everywhere, certainly wearing number 20. I remember that, I remember that. 
I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with his speed turn in the corner. Lamont Evans on the tackle on the play, but not before Avery got around him and good positive yardage on the play. Kids got speed. I mean, second down and four. Go! Deshaun Johnson out. Stepping in for John Avery as the lone running back in the Chicago Rapids. Ball on the 34-yard line of Los Angeles. Chicago moving the ball again. And Tim Lester looking for Johnson. And Johnson turning the corner up near the first down marker. LaShawn Johnson, the nation's leading rusher his senior year in Northern Illinois. Go, we gotta get a little faster. We're gonna check up there. We gotta get faster. A guy that beat cancer. He's going through chemotherapy, radiation, a lot of courage for LaShawn Johnson. Oh. Played high school ball in Haskell, Oklahoma. I had this kid on the field, Jesse, as an official way back in those years in Oklahoma. Did you ever flag him for any big JR? I don't, I don't think so. Third down and one. By Jay Armstrong, the big tight end. LaShawn Johnson, Charles Riley, backfield. And it's LaShawn Johnson for the first and ten. And L.A. had a hard time getting LaShawn Johnson down. I'll tell you what, we're talking about the heart of the players in this league and, and Sean Avery going back in. It's hard to measure the heart and the will to compete that LaShawn Johnson has, a guy that missed a whole year of football fighting cancer. Check belly, I want, ready? Upright check belly. John Avery back in. Flag 335! Flag 335! First down 10. Ball in the L.A. 27-yard line. Chicago leading 12 to 6, and there's a the handoff to Avery. Avery looking for a crack. A great pursuit this time by the Los Angeles defense. Leomon Evans out of Clemson making the stop. Do yeah, we got a player down on the Don't field. Do you know, man. Avery does have a lot of moves. He, he looks a lot like Barry Sanders man. back there, but just as Barry Sanders, you put those moves on. Sometimes you get caught, and sometimes you tackle. Yeah. all over the XFL. The injured player was uh, Chris Perez. And it's uh, second down and 11. Perez on the ball game. Chicago leading here 12 to 6. No. Tim Lester, the quarterback. Uh, John Avery. The outstanding running back number 20. Flag 385! Flag 385! That's a good throw. Going deep again. And I had the receiver wanted some interference there intended for Brett Coleman. Coleman looking back far too late for that ball. Lester had to unload it because he was unloaded on. The heat was on uh, Lester. The DB molester. Turned down and 11. Lester's tough. I like it. Lester only six feet tall, 200 pounds up in uniform, I would say. They're down at 11. Tim Lester with the heat. And down he goes. Good pressure this time by the L.A. defense. A loss of seven yards. Eric Heron on the blitz. Nailing Lester. Eric Heron, he on the back of his jersey, and you know what? He's a Marine who served in Saudi Arabia, so we got them all out here. Eric Heron played collegiately right here at uh, USC, was roommates uh, with the Trojans, with, with Keyshawn Johnson, and the first from the ball game, Ramirez got to travel 25 yards, no fair catches here in the XFL. Nothing comes easy. And it's got to make it past the 10 yard line for it to be a free ball. We got a penalty. Well, that may have been taken on purpose. Maybe they wanted to move it back Delay five. on the offense. Five-yard penalty and remains fourth down. Andy Crossley, a big-legged kicker, he's 6'4", 225, played for the Miami Hurricane, a teammate of the Rock who we'll talk to at halftime. 
Let's take a look at the Bush XFL rules regarding the punting game, Jess. Okay, here we go. Punt recovery. No fair catches. The kicking team must give a receiver a five-yard radius. The kicking team may recover the ball after it's traveled 25 yards. Free ball after 25. At the 15 now. Crosses kick. Nice leg. And Bill at the one-yard line. Larry. Larry. Oh. Catches. That's what makes the action great here in the XFL. What well, separates the receivers uh, from the uh, this is a suicide like uh, maneuver here, I'll tell you. Listen to this contact. Look at this. He's got to take it right there. No fair catches. Brings up Wham. Well, JR, I know that wouldn't have hurt me. He landed on his head. <laughs> Well, we're going to see how if Rashad Sheehy can get his team right back in this ball game. His mama is looking on. Miss Linda is here. And uh, Sheehy going in motion. Maddox back to throw. Great catch. And Maddox to Ryan's. Ryan's had a Clemson for a 16-yard gain. First and 10, Los Angeles. And I tell you what, Jess, you got to like Tommy Maddox. This Ryan's is getting up a little, uh, little ding there. Maddox has had a, a very good first half thus far. And what I liked about it was the gun shown by Maddox to drop into that end zone and fire the ball out of the end zone to Ryan's. Ryan's making a great catch, but he's going to limp off the field. He's hurt. Uh, hey, right here, we're going to settle down for a second. Let it settle down. Just relax. Just relax. Uh, uh. Larry's bases, right? Yeah, what's up, baby? Uh, right. Come on, walk me off. Going down your legs, Earl? Yeah, a little bit down my left. Mm -hmm. Down your left? Okay. A little bit. Come on, walk me off. Okay. I can't be out here. Okay, let's go. You're going to go. Grab uh, right. yeah. right. my heart. Come on, slow. Just walk me off. Smash mouth football, the order of the day here. Hit the back of the head. That may have caused a stinger, Jess. Well, it ain't the stinger. It's down on his hip and his uh, yeah. and his leg, I think. But I'll yeah. tell you, the courage here. I can't be out here. Get me off of this yeah. field. Jamie Baisley. He's a headhunter from Indiana, one of the inside linebackers of uh, Chicago. And uh, McDonald in. Darnell McDonald. Keep your eye on him as this ball game progresses. He can get it done. Oxidine, the ball carrier, the ox from Virginia Tech, right up the guts. And tackle made by Kerry Cooks. Well, folks, tomorrow night at 9 8 Central here on NBC, catch the network television premiere of The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey. That's The Truman Show tomorrow night at 9 8 Central following the NBA All Star game. Light, light. Yep. Oxid Oxidine in. For Rashad C. Oxidine, 28, the ball carrier. And Oxidine could not turn the corner. He's more of a north and south runner, Jess, in my view, than an east and west guy. Well, you definitely see he doesn't have that outside breakaway speed to turn that corner. And running him wide, I question that play calling a little bit. The A train from the University of Texas. Number 50, Aaron Humphrey, making the, uh, the tackle in the play. A man is uh, second on the Texas all time list for tackles for a loss. And they are. What's the difference between the A train and the B train? One five, one five. Well, the A train is much better. Much better. Much okay. tougher. 48. Well, forward motion by Los Angeles. Maddox has time. And pass complete to Darnell McDonald. And uh, Chicago wants the fumble. I think McDonald was down. McDonald, a big, strong receiver who can go deep. Brings up a putting situation for Los Angeles. Ball must travel 25 yards to the 45-yard line, to be exact. Prefontaine, the third-team quarterback, doing the punting tonight for Los Angeles. Out of San Diego. Oh, it's blocked. The kick is blocked. Chicago, cut touchdown. Touchdown, Chicago. A breakdown on special teams. And the enforcers increase their lead to 18-6. to six. You know, I'll tell you something. For the LA Extreme to be the preseason favorite here, JR, to win the XFL championship, they're not looking that good. 
Brian Rogers returned the uh, or re recovered the kick and made the touchdown on the block. The extra point play, the ball will be snapped for the two-yard line. No extra point kicks in the XFL. And we haven't had a good try yet so far. This is the fourth touchdown of the night. No extra points so far. Lexer with the option. Fumble. And LaShawn Johnson fumbles the play. The extra point, no good. Let's take another look at the, the block kick that came right up the gut, Jess. And the Chicago, they have come to play here tonight. Absolutely. They're after that bonus money. Right through the middle. Wham! There's the block right there. Clean as a whistle. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. It was Charles Wiley, the, the running back, that blocked the kick. for collect balls. Man, that is a party atmosphere down in the uh, in the beach area. That hot tub looks pretty inviting. You know, if I run my Speedo, Jess, I might be right in there with them. Oh, JR, I don't think we could show you in a Speedo on TV. It's against California law. We will have a fun here at the LA, LA Extreme uh, home turf, the historic Coliseum here in Los Angeles. But Terry Rochelle, and uh, Damon Dunn back to receive the kickoff. They are Los Angeles, Andy Crossland. JR, I got an interesting quote for you. Darnell McDonald, extreme wide receiver quote. If we lose another game all season, I will be very surprised. Well, he's getting surprised right now. Crossland's kick taken by Damon Dunn. And Don to the trying to get to the corner and doesn't make it to the 20 yard line. And folks, let's take him back down to Orlando for another update. Orlando Ray jumps out by 13 7 score. They scored two unanswered touchdowns. Here's the third, the little guy, Brian Shea, the shortest man on the roster. Well, he may work for Keeper in the offseason, but he just scored his first professional touchdown here in the XFL. It's 19 to 7. Crazy, crazy, Orlando crazy. favored by four in that ball game. Time, 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 Taking time, care of the undefeated uh, San Francisco club and Rashawn Shi back in the game for Los Angeles. But a stoppage in play. I'm in Chicago. So Chicago. And uh, Maddox, the quarterback. Ball on the 19-yard line. I got the fake to Sheehy. Oh. And they put the wide open. Bookman with a catch and run. Bookman, 22 yard gain. Again, on the 1998 Tennessee National Championship team, Copeland was Peyton Manning's favorite receiver. I mean, that was too wide open. What was that? 143. Eagle Pig! Eagle Pig, go! 48! Open one to dance tonight. More motion by L.A. And Maddox pass incomplete to bad, Rochelle. Bad throw by Tommy Maddox right there. Threw behind his receiver. He's got to get it out front and lead the man to give him a chance to catch the football. Maddox made, uh, by his own admission, some bad decisions last week. Trip. 60 Georgia. Remember the blitz now. Trip, trip. 60 Georgia on one, right? Another XFL exclusive, the coach to quarterback uh, communication. Go! Second down and 10, ball to 41 yard line. 48! <laughs> Maddox looking deep. And Maddox overthrowing his intended receiver, again, Rochelle. Rochelle played collegiately at Fresno State. Not, not a good choice by Tommy Maddox there. It's good he overthrew that when he threw into double coverage, the free safety coming over. Nobody open on that play. Third down play. Red five, Ray five. Ray five, hold on, Ray five. Maddox needs a play, and the play clock is uh, rapidly expiring here. <laughs> Maddox again looking to throw. Yeah. Rochelle and Maddox are not on the same page. They're not even in the, reading the same book right now. 
He put on by Torek. Matt Torek is a stud. And Los Angeles going to be forced to punt again. Prefontaine, as we mentioned earlier, the third team quarterback officially out of San Diego State is also the punter for L.A. And let's remember what happened last time. They blocked it. Let's see if Chicago comes again. They look like they're coming after it, J.R. No, they held off that time. The left footer gets it off. Nice kick. No fair catches in the XFL. Noel Preston building the ball. Turns to the 25-yard line and knocked out of bounds at around the 26-yard line. Eric Johnson from Idaho State making the tackle. 11-yard return. Scott Milanovic, I know you are expecting, as is your wife. What are your thoughts right now? Well, right now I'm, I'm not thinking about it a whole lot. Um, we're trying to get this, uh, we're trying to get this game figured out, and, and trying to get some points on the go on the board. Anything you want to say to your wife at home watching? Pardon me. Anything you want to say to your wife at home, Jamie, watching right now? Well, I think she knows she's always in my thoughts, but right now my mind is focused on football. Bless you. The pitch back to Avery. Avery fumbles. A fumble on the play. Evans with the recovery for L.A. And that's the break they're looking for here right at the end of the first half. Leo Mont Evans with a recovery with 3.50 to go in the first half. And now let's see if, if L.A. can can capitalize on this mistake. There you see Lester pitching the ball to Avery. Avery not getting a handle on it. The ball's free. Evans right there on the spot. Recovers it for the LA Extreme. Let's see if Tommy Maddox can capitalize. Ball up the 15-yard line. LA one for two in the red zone tonight. Oxidine the running back. Three wide outs to the right. He's got a man. Touchdown! McDonald calls that dance the oh, booty call. The what? Go. I don't know. I've never, never experienced that. 48. Extra point attempt. And right up the gut. The Ox, Ken Oxendine. 225 pounder converting the extra point. And L.A. cuts the Chicago lead to five as we take another look, Jesse, at this touchdown throw. Tommy Maddox right after the fumble recovery by Evans, dropping back, firing over the middle, complete for the touchdown. Booty call in slow-mo, Jesse. You and I should never try this at home. The booty call. That's it. Uh, see, you got to put your hand on the other guy's helmet. I think, I think the booty... Those, it's those small things you got to pay attention to, Jr. Darnell, you got to use the booty. You got to use the booty, and you scored, but your ribs are sore. How are you? Yeah, they're real sore right now. Uh, been working on that dance for a while. Just having fun when you're in the end zone. It's a party. It's a party. This live experience of the, with the XFL is always a party. Man, we've got a great crowd. Over 30,000 here tonight and here in Los Angeles at the Coliseum. A great night for football here on NBC. As professional football after a six-year layoff comes back to Los Angeles, affordable football. You know, go out and look out there. You'll see families there tonight, JR, because they can afford to go to the XFL. Absolutely. We've had rain here today. We've had power problems. The electricity uh, went out on us early. What do you expect? It's LA. Jose Cortez, the Rupert by trade, kicking off and fielded by Ruel Preston at the 12. Preston back near the 30-yard line, down at the 29, by Sean Stuckey. Sean Stuckey. And folks, uh, this week, Thursday night is going to be even bigger with another supersized friends and a night filled with superstars, including uh, Pamela Anderson, Ellen DeGeneres, and Susan Sarandon. Don't miss Superstar Thursday this week, beginning at 8, 7 Central on NBC. Sean Stuckey made that tackle. You know, he's a former male dancer. We'll get into that a little bit later as we took the 
The A train's ahead of steaming. Do you work for the post office? No. We'll get into that later. John Avery, nowhere to go for Avery. Avery, obviously, a marked man. He knew it coming in here. And the A train. Erupt. Heading down the track. Let's go. The former Jarhead. I think you called him right. The, the Marine with a tackle. You called him that, JR. I love the Marine. I do, too. They're my favorite branch of the service next to the Army. And Flag 38. Second down and 10. Flag 38. Los Angeles for the XFL. Avery in motion. Young Tim Lester looking for Avery. He's got Avery's him. got some room here. Uh -oh. Avery's got some room. Avery at the 40. Avery at the 50. John Avery at the 30 yard line. Makes another pop. He's Avery. Oh, he's right down. Avery down to the six yard line. Rico Mack with a tackle. 66 big time yards for John Avery. You, you think you got him stopped, and then he shoves it right down your guts. I'll tell you what, he caught that ball almost at the line of scrimmage was here. Lester out to Avery. Avery shuts one tackle, makes the move. Tremendous cutback runner. He's in the open, and that is danger. The XFL player of the week last week. Breaking three, losing his balance all the way to the six-yard line. We are at the we are at the two-minute warning here in the first half. Man, what a football game we have here in Los Angeles. Chicago. The Truman Show, NBC Sunday. Two minutes ago in the first half, Chicago leading 18 to 13, but threatening again. And coming up at halftime, it's XFL All Access. Brought to you by Burger King. We're going to take you into both locker rooms for an unprecedented look inside as the players and coaches break down the first half. You don't want to miss uh, Burger King's XFL All Access coming up at halftime. Well, I got to tell you something, JR. You know, we've been jumping all over L.A. for the loss of power, and I found out that one of our generators ran out of gas. You know what that tells me? What's that mean? Vince McMahon probably didn't fill up the tank on his car, so he's out there siphoning gas. That could be. First and five. First and goal from the five. LaShawn Johnson, the big man. Uh, the flag down on the play. Sean Johnson from Illinois, Northern Illinois. 36 was it? Ball start on 36. Prior to the snap, it was 36 to tight end. So Prior to the snap, ball start on the offense, number 36. Five-yard penalty, and it remains first down. So it's a... Uh, That's a nice break for L.A. out there now. Let's see if they can... Keep Chicago out of the end zone here at the end of the first half. High scoring ball game. The over under in this game in Vegas is 47. Already 31 points thus far. So if you took the over, I got a feeling you might be okay. I was wondering why you're so happy with all this score, JR. Lester giving the ball to Avery. He's trouble trying to get outside and great pursuit by LA. Not allowing Avery to turn the corner. <laughs> Big Daddy Jerry Kraft, 6'6", 375, trying to lead the way for John Avery, who's 5'9", and maybe 190. Ty <laughs> Armstrong, number 86, the big tight end for Chicago, just loves that smash mouth football. And we've got second down. Second and goal from the seven-yard line for Chicago. They lead by five. First half winding down here in L.A. And Lester pass complete to Roel Preston. Preston down about the one-yard line. Gonna be a third down, Jess. This is gonna be huge, JR, because if LA can hold them here to a field goal, they're still well within the ball game before the half. If they let him get six here, a lot of trouble for the second half. Let's go. LaShawn well, Johnson, our power formation here, the I formation. Wiley and, and Johnson, the running backs. And there's 
Deshaun Johnson turns up field. Touchdown, Chicago. And he made that look easy. Johnson just going wide, cutting it in. Nobody hardly laid a hand on him. And Chicago adds to their lead, 24-13 with 113 to go. Deshaun Johnson, a former Haskell, Oklahoma haymaker. Northern Illinois running back. Finished sixth in the Heisman Trophy battle in his senior year. Just got in the end zone, but bigger than that, he beat cancer. And he's here playing now in the XFL. The extra point, no kicks in the XFL. It'll be run or thrown, ball spotted at the two-yard line. Johnson again, running north and south. And he's in there. A delayed call for the linesman. And we may run out of footballs and Deshaun Johnson keeps scoring. Chicago leads 25 to 13. Take another look at the touchdown, Jess. There you go, Lester brings him out of the huddle. There's the snap. Simple hand off to Johnson. Simple putt into the end zone. Good blocking up front. Six points for Chicago. An interactive live experience here at the XFL. I.J. Armstrong. Here. Signaling the touchdown. Get your hands up. The touchdown. Come on. Well, JR, you know LA is supposed to have a real high-powered offense with 113 to go. Let's find out. It's going to be interesting to see what Coach Luganville of uh, the Extreme does at halftime. And we'll be taking you uh, right inside the locker rooms at halftime to hear from Coach Luganville and Coach Meyer of Chicago. Plus, we're going to be talking to the Rock at halftime as well. Sort of one of the, uh, as I mentioned, we will be talking to The Rock at halftime. And you know, The Rock with a great college career at the University of Miami, excellent football player. Played on the national championship team there, number 94 for the Miami Hurricane, with Coach Dennis Erickson. And the kickoff by Crossland, Damon Dunn. He turned the ball. He's got the ball. ball. Got some room. They want to stumble. NFL forward motion. One offensive player may be in forward motion before the snap. Players may not use forward motion until they are outside the widest down lineman. They've got to be outside that front five. LA uses this uh, a great deal in their offensive scheme. 106 to go in the first half. Tommy Maddox back to throw. Has some time. No! And the ball. We got a completed pass there. Stop the clock. He stayed in bounds. No, now they're waving it off. Now they're waving it off. The umpire comes over. He perhaps had a better look and waves it off. But Terry Rochelle from Fresno State, the intended receiver, is going to bring up second down and 10. Football on the 44 yard line. That's unbelievable. Here we go. Let's go, Deuce. Deuce. 12. First down. Ready? Oh, well, we know it's going to the first down. <laughs> and we're probably going to see a pass. Maddox back to throw. Got some, some pressure. And the screen intended for Rashawn Sheehy in his homecoming game. And Maddox, hey, stick up for yourself over there. You saw it. Stick up for yourself. Right inside the huddle, and of course, Maddox a moment ago speaking uh, somewhat gingerly with the one of the officials. Slant. Maddox to the completion. But Terry Rochelle has been very involved in the L.A. game plan tonight. 19-yard gain, and L.A. moving the ball with 43 seconds to go in the first half. And that was a critical third down play right there to keep the drive alive. They're going with on a huddle now. Maddox up to the line of scrimmage. 43 ticks left in the first half. Maddox again looking to throw. With a reception, and puts the ball down to around the 23-yard line, gain of 16 yards. Excellent play call right there with Copeland's speed. He goes down about eight yards, catches the ball, and then runs it an additional eight to ten yards. 
Sunday, Sunday. They got two timeouts. Why are they letting it run down like this? Clock management. Come on. Maddox. That's a man. Copeland got turned around there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Copeland looked like he had a step on his man, but. You know, JR, why don't coaches use all their timeouts? I mean, you're down to 22 seconds here to go in the half. They got two timeouts left. Yes, the clock stops on the incompletion, but they could have saved a lot of time by using one of those timeouts. Well, L.A. has uh, two timeouts remaining, as you pointed out. One of the great mysteries of the XFL, the timeout situation here tonight. Maddox, quick out to Cooper. Cooper trying to find somewhere to go. And the former Tennessee wideout. And there they finally use one. With 13 seconds to go. He trips. They're looking for a scene. But more importantly, Jesse, the body of Ventura, they're looking for six points. Right. They don't have time to mess around. They got to go to the end zone with every play right now with 13 seconds to go. Third down, you got two plays to go to the end zone. 48! 48! And ball dropped on the, in the flat. Maddox looking for Damon Dunn. And the pass was dropped. Maddox, uh, 17 to 27 tonight, 193 yards, a hell of a first half for Tom Maddox. Now here's a dilemma, nine seconds yes. to go, you got fourth down, so it's your last play. I'm kicking. They're going to kick a field goal, they're going for the field goal. They figure, let's get three. Whereas and the kick, he's got the leg to do it here. He got a 34-yard field goal, with success. He did last time. around the 32-yard line. Now let's take a look at our halftime stats brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft. And uh, passing game very, very involved for both teams offensively. Absolutely. Rushing the ball only 62 and 47. Look at that. Look at the control. 19, 15 to 10, 10. But they're throwing it tonight. L.A. control the ball almost uh, 2 to 1, but they are, they are down by 12. Go! That's because of big play. 48! Absolutely. Chicago. Time, time, time! And timeout oh, called. Go. And Chicago either didn't have, I don't think they had enough players on the field. Go, Rick! High down. I think that's the middle linebacker. You know, J.R. I was complaining about using the clock in your timeouts, but you don't want to use them on the first play of the second half. I think you're absolutely right there. And how do you, you run a 3-4 defense, how do you how do you miss a defensive end? There's only three down linemen. Folks, let's take him back down to Orlando for another report. Oh, we got it. A little, hey, little audio problem there in Orlando. We'll get back to the King and Matt Vaskersen a little bit later. You know, it kind of reminded me of those old films, a silent movie. <laughs> the King is never silent. 1455. We're just getting underway here in the, in the third quarter. We just joined us. 48! Yeah, the oh, handoff to Rashawn Sheehy. Number 22, Rashawn Sheehy. They call him the truth. Here's a kid that grew up in the in Watts here in South Central LA. Wanted to join the gang as a youngster, but those the gang members refused to let him in because they said, Rashawn, you you got that fucking ability. You can get out and you can make something of yourself. And that's exactly what Rashawn Sheehy has done with the help of his mama Linda. Go! 
Well, he's getting some help from his lineman after that last run. 48, six. Maddox back to throw. Pass is complete. Pass complete to his big ace back, Leatherwood. Leatherwood hailing from Clyde, North Carolina. Played at Appalachian State to the big ace back. Orlando leading at halftime. Two unbeaten teams. In Orlando, Orlando up by 12, 19 to 7. Orlando favored by four in that ball game, according to the experts. Los Angeles favored by six. 48! Oxidine the carry, the Ox from Virginia Tech, 230 pounds. Right behind that huge offensive line that averages 320 pounds per man. That's some, those are some boys that like some groceries, but they're not going to get any extra money for those groceries. But they don't Let's get, go. get Let's the go. end zone a couple of times here. Well, you can see Maddox is coming out this half. They're trying to control the football, run it a little bit. Ron Mark warning us to the team of, uh, of a hard count. Looks like L.A. thinking about going for it, and now L.A.'s calling a timeout. Maddox calling a timeout. Maximum protection. Castro GTX. Drive hard. By Monkey Bone. Starring Brendan Frazier and Bridget Pond. February 23rd, only in theater. And by Love. The boots and shoes with an attitude that you never know what you might run into. Love. Boots and shoes. Fourth down and one. Jesse the Body Ventura from LA's own 41 yard line. And they're going for it, JR. I love it. No, 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 play it, play it, play it. Right Go. here early in the third quarter. 48! We eased off early, could look for the quarterback sneak here, unless they change their mind. Hard <laughs> count. Maddox with the quarterback sneak. He's trying to get a push. Oh, this is going to be close. That huge offensive line of L.A., quite frankly, didn't get much of a push on these uh, smaller overachievers of Chicago. It depends on the spot. You got some guys thinking on one way. Chicago is signaling their ball. L.A. signaling theirs. Referee, here we go. Referee's going to measure. Hold the ball. Well, this is a big measurement here. Uh, L.A. feeling a sense of urgency down 12 here uh, early in the third quarter. Going forward in their own end of the field in the 41. Oh, he's short. Oh, man. Short. there. Al Luganville taking a big chance right there. Look, he don't look pleased at all. And you gotta wonder how much vinegar that's gonna take you, you know, out of Los Angeles. Somebody, we ought to go down there and ask him why he would make that call this early in the third quarter and give Chicago this type of field position. Be interested to hear what he has to say. Well, Chicago ball, Tim Lester. The young man from Black Eastern Black Michigan. Black. The math teacher with uh, John Avery in the long setback, eight yards deep in the back lane. Play action pass. Lester looking to throw. And the pass is complete to Junior Lord out of Tiny Gilbert College. 14 yard gain, Jesse. And uh, Chicago having success throwing on first down. Well, LA, LA may have made a huge mistake going for that JR. Ready? Fourth down and one, and now they've given Chicago the chance here, a golden opportunity to widen the lead. Chicago with a short field. Can they take advantage of it here? John Avery. John Avery, John Avery on the carry. Well, folks, coming up tonight on NBC, you don't want to miss a minute of tonight's all-new episode of Saturday Night Live. Just open for one of your favorites, the one and only Jennifer Lopez. You know what's interesting too, Jr. Last week LA lost because a school teacher kicked a field goal. Now they're losing because another school teacher's playing quarterback beating them. Yeah, and they're and they got to get that roofer back on the roof and get them maybe another uh, another field goal kicker. Yeah, you know, Tell me, draft those Black teachers. Education is good, no doubt about it. Knowledge is good. Evil Faber said that. Left back to throw. Pass intended for Junior Lord. Broken up by Joe McGee. Oh, 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 oh. Al, on 
half. Fourth and one, you went for it. Why did you make that decision? Because I felt we needed a push there. We didn't get it. It's a bad decision. Hell, if we make it, it's a great decision. Out of boy, Al. Right? Damn right. <laughs> You know, they called him, give him hell out of San Diego only, State. Only in the XFL <laughs> will you get that type of coverage. This is the only place that will happen. Good. Good. Great. Good. 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 Hey, don't cross that. Third and seven. And uh, Western. Seven checks later, but the officials said no. I can't believe this call. And neither could demon coach Jim Skipper. He said this is a blown call. I got to agree. Look at this. This is a touchdown right here. They ruled it an interception. It's 97 Orlando. Well, that no doubt was a bad call down in Orlando. Well, the referee right now. JR, you ref for 18 years. You call that a bad call? Yeah, a bad call. Touchdown. Ball broke the plane. The, pos the receiver possessed the ball. Should have been a touchdown. Lester, the little general, taking over in the huddle. Just like he talks to his math students in the offseason. They're down to play for Chicago. Look out! And the pressure. Oh, my. And uh, oh, death ball, Jamal Duff, number 96, putting the heat on Tim Lester. Take a look at death blow here. That's their second side. They call me Death Blow because I'm known for putting quarterbacks on their back and breaking necks. And tonight you're going to feel the power of the Death Blow. And Chicago kicking the ball. No fair catch if you remember the XFL. The ball is still by Damon Dunn at the two yard line. They ran out of bounds inside the 10 at about the 9. Books on uh, Monday. <laughs> Jesse, the body of Ventura, no doubt about that. That's as raw as it gets, and we bring it to you here in the XFL, the only place you see. Big, big, like big! Lots, lots going wrong tonight, but by gosh, a lot's going right as well. Tommy Maddox, ball on his own eight-yard line. Maddox looking to throw. That's oh. Ball right in the hands of Frank Leatherwood, and he may be headed back to Bill more houses. He's a carpenter from Clyde, North Carolina. Tommy Maddox hit him in the worst place you could, the chest. Trip, 60 Georgia. Let's go trip, trip, 60 Georgia. First down, right? Three receiver package. Hey, I got the most here. You heard the play called. I got that. Trips I got two zoos. On this play. Go, go, go. Maddox with time. Get the ball. And a nice defensive play. I like that, didn't No doubt about it. Dorian Brew out of Kansas. Go, 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 go. Good timing here by Brew. Comes in. Breaks up the pass intended for Copeland. Good defensive play. Third down play for Los Angeles. Go! Ball on their eight-yard line. 48! Look! Again, oh, Maddox oh. down at the one-yard line. Nail an A-train. Aaron Huffman from Texas. Second Maddox at the one-yard line. And the officials are calling for a timeout. There's Milanovic waiting. He could get the call right now if Tommy Maddox can't play. But what's worse facing the Los Angeles extreme right now is they have to punt, and they've only got about ten and a half yards to drop that punter back. A lot of us waiting to play. Freaking specials there, Lord. Oh, you were going to cope? Yeah. Maddox says he's okay, limping a little bit. Look at that John Wayne swagger tonight, the Texan. 
L.D. Bill Hospital in Hearst, Texas, the number one high school quarterback in America before he signed with UCLA, had more yards as a sophomore than any quarterback in Pac-10 history. Yeah. Oh, another block, Jess. Not only that, but what has caused all this, that going for it on fourth and one. They lost the field position. Now they're in trouble. Luganville's paying the price. Not a lot of room for Prefontaine to kick the ball, but he gets it off deep in his own end zone. Nice high kick, Roel Preston. He's putting the ball. There's 48 yard line. Preston's got some room. Preston's going to make something happen here. Preston is at the 25 and knocked out of bounds. Eric Johnson knocking Roel Preston out of bounds. 52 yard kick, but a 27 yard return. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. There's a return on our sky cam. There you see Preston going right, breaks it back to the left, picks up a block or two, no flags on the play. Excellent return off a great punt. Ball knocked out of his hands, but going out of bounds, so it's meaningless. Here in the XFL, you can take that ride with the return man with the X cam. <laughs> Kim Lester hands the ball off. Avery got nothing on that play. Curtis Easton, the, uh, the tackler. Easton out of Tennessee State. Well, the L.A. defense is at least responding this half. They've been pushed up against the wall twice right now. They haven't yielded any points. John, John Avery. Screen right. On one, ready? A little screen pass coming up here. Avery, 59 yards, nine carries, and a touchdown tonight. Flag 339! Flag 339! One more next change, and L.A.'s got the ball. Flag. There's some flag, too. Oh, they're going to take it away, I bet. Contact on the defense. This is not going to be a popular call here. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> is that going to be enough for a first or not? Is that going to be enough for a first? Okay. Contact by the defense. It's a five-yard penalty. Remains second down. L.A. in the... In the encroachment, in the encroach there in the neutral zone, and the fans not happy whatsoever because their team, LA, had the had recovered the fumble. I'll tell you that's XFL audio at its best, JR. Tim Lester gets a retrieve. Second down. Flag 334. 23 yard line. 334. Down, down. Avery the carry. Avery, a nice run between the tackles. Yeah. Eric Johnson again, the yeah. Yeah, baby. Idaho State alumni. Yeah, baby. Avery, uh, Avery coming out to get a break. Ten carries, 65 yards. Not a bad average. I'll take that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, I just ran by six two. John Johnson and Charles Wiley in the backfield. And Ooh, great Johnson gets the carry. And a nice play there. That was made by one long from Mississippi State. And another adventure. An adventure in kicking. Jose. Easy. 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 Man down on the field. That's uh, Octavius Bishop. 330 pounder out of Texas. Octavius in a degree of discomfort. Well, while these uh, folks attend to Octavius Bishop, we're going to take a timeout with Chicago leading by 12 in the Coliseum. Don't show that, man. We are back live here in the Coliseum. Uh, Octavius Bishop still down, and we'll hope to get a report on uh, his uh, injury status, Jesse, the body Ventura, uh, as soon as we can. Well, what was interesting about it was Rico Mack of Los Angeles on the defensive team stepped up to the cameraman and, uh, and said, don't show it, don't show it. So it's the respect football players have for each other when there's an injury like this. 
Nobody wants to see anybody get hurt like that. And certainly we're respecting the football player's wishes by not showing it as well. And uh, certainly a, a much anticipated day for L.A. tailback Rashawn Sheehy. And as he is, uh, there you see Rashawn. What a heck of a guy he is. And uh, Rashawn certainly could contributes his mother to a great deal of his success. There were many sacrifices made by a lot of people for me to get to where I am today. But none more than my mother, someone who works right across the street from here, 32nd Street School. So today, Mom, this game's for you. Yay! Linda Sheehy, how do As far as the Chicago team is concerned, they're, they're dangerously thin now with their offensive linemen. These teams uh, only carry 38 players on their roster. Two backup offensive linemen. Benny Anderson has been called to duty. And now Octavius Bishop has been uh, obviously eliminated from the equation. And what people need to understand in the XFL, we only carry 38 players on an active roster. So, you know, they may have to move a guard, a backup guard, or a center out to play that tackle position now. And, you know, that's always a tough situation to step into. You don't fully know the plays all the time, and it, and it, and it puts a lot of pressure on them. Celebration in the end zone in Orlando. Nothing to celebrate at this very moment here in the historic L.A. Coliseum. Octavius Bishop will be taken to a medical facility and they'll join his uh, fellow offensive lineman, Chris Perez. They're getting his, uh, his knee checked for an NCL injury. And again, when you only carry 38 men on your roster, these, these injuries, no matter what the level, injuries always uh, hurt you in a lot of ways. But in the XFL, they're, they're doubly dangerous. Chicago will, is trying to line up for a kick is up and uh, wide Don't to the left. It. In the uh, in the hot tub on the beach in the end zone, having a good time. I think maybe maybe next week we can be in something like that. You're a bomb man. You can you can handle it. You can teach me the, the aquatic ways of life. <laughs> First and ten ball, the 27-yard line. Tommy Maddox, the quarterback for L.A. Maddox looking to throw and dumps it off to Rashawn Sheehy. And Sheehy taken down by Kerry Cooks. It's a return home for Rashawn Sheehy. going after those on line. Why he got hit late? Well, he's also going after, he's complaining a lot to the officials, too. He wants a call out there. Maddox is a spirited competitor. Certainly, to say the very least. Second down to five. Maddox uh, takes the draw. Dumps it off, and the ball batted. Was it intercepted? Was the ball intercepted or was the ball incomplete? Matt thinks It looks like an interception. They're calling an interception. Of the linebacker from Ohio State. Great athletic play by the former Buckeye. Feeks read that perfect, read the screen pass, got in there, Maddox flipped it up, and Feeks with the interception, Chicago back in business. Lester with a handoff to Avery, and, and there's, there's a late flag coming in. All right, all right, all right. Probably holding. I got stoned. You know, Stone JR, this entire quarter off. has been played in <laughs> LA territory so far. So baby, they doing right. And no points. And we got a, a holding call by referee Randy Crystal and and certainly uh, Chicago. They got a heck of a situation going here. John Avery is what I'm looking at. 
Well, and they're going to have a tough time running the football because they've lost both their tackles right now. And uh, that's going to make it difficult for Avery, but he's a good running back. Uh, let's see if he can swing and get outside, but they're in big trouble now. There's a big penalty. You know, Jess, it's great not being in the press box to bring right here. Or here in the open, I'm the ball, as they say in Oklahoma, around all these fans here in L.A. And so now Lester's got a first and 20 ball on the 43-yard line of Los Angeles with Chicago leading by 12. Lester again looking to throw. And Lester being knocked down. Matt Canelli from Southern California. Third sack of the night. Uh, by Los Angeles. There's where we are, Jess. There we are. It's, uh, you can feel the game here. Sitting up with the fans out here in Los Angeles. Great crowd we got out here tonight. Smell the popcorn. About 36,000, and they actually almost got here on time for L.A. Close. Fashionably late. Second down to 25, and we may have another flag there. That was a got to be procedure, and the incomplete pass. Chicago a little out of sync there. It's an illegal shift. You can refuse the penalty and it'd be here. We penalize him and we play something. So he'll go shift on the offense. Uh, Jesse, a lot of folks here in a, on a rainy, cool day for Southern California. 35,813 Los Angeles here. <laughs> About a million miles to go, it would seem, yeah. for Chicago. Everybody having a great time here in Los Angeles. That's what it's all about when you experience the XFL line. Oh, out of the shotgun. He's punting it. Oh, the quick kick. The quick kick, but it's fielded. The ball is fielded by Los Angeles by Ricky Parker. And Parker bends the ball up across the 40 yard line. A smart, heady play. 26 yard quick kick. A 20 yard return. And who would have thought that Tim Lester was a punter? Well, Lester made a great play. You know, Chicago thought they were going to catch him off guard here out of the shotgun. There's the punt. But Lester fields it, and it backfires on Chicago. The best field position since the fourth and one when the L.A. Extreme went for it early in the quarter. Watch well, Lester make a tackle here. This He's got some guts. He's got to love him. Lester. Well, I wouldn't exactly call that a tackle. Well, they got kind of gotten his way. Well, that's better than nothing. <laughs> and a complete pass. That's it. To Larry Ryan. That, that's how a quarterback tackles, but, uh, you know, better than what you might see in another league because they're used to getting hit here at least. Sure. Quarterbacks and kickers are not the greatest tacklers. And uh, you got to wonder how long Coach Al Luganville is going to stay with Tommy Maddox. Ken Oxidine, the deep back for L.A. And the Ox gets the carry right up the gut. Nothing there. You know, just that quick kick and going. Five yards here in the XFL. It was it's a free ball. Absolutely. If they if it had gone down and went in the end zone, it'd be a touchdown for Chicago if it got that far. Two-time all Pac-10 and All-American Jason Chork out of Washington made the last tackle. Second down, third down, uh, excuse me, and two. L.A. fans getting a little restless here. They want to see something out of their extreme. Leatherwood in motion. The quick, the quick There's pass the guy to Copeland. Give it to. And Copeland. Tim Lester, tell us about the quick kick. Is that a function of uh, losing both your starting tackles? Not, you know, not really. When you get third and long like that, you got you to gotta try to do something to change the momentum. And uh, then we lose a smart play. I got to kick a little further. Jim Lester's having a good night, 7-10, 189 yards. A very efficient night for the young man who just a few months ago was teaching math in Wheaton, Illinois. 44! Tommy Maddox needs some magic here. Somebody should teach him how to kick go a little better, <laughs> JR. And Maddox. The bump and rub coverage uh, affecting uh, Maddox adversely there. Latario Rochelle, the attended receiver. 
Tommy Maddox, 21 out of 36 tonight. That guy's got a Jesse the Body Ventura here. That's right. We got the same barber, Mr. Norelco. <laughs> Maddox needs some success. Second and ten. And you know, Mr. Norelco has three heads. I've heard. But Clickman, Clickman down to the 30-yard line. And that's the man L.A. should go to, Jermaine Copeland, very explosive wide receiver. Day, trust me. Jermaine Copeland made his living as a janitor after leaving the University of Tennessee. He's caught 10 balls tonight for 107 yards. Big night for the former Tennessee Vol. L.A. needs a touchdown in the worst way, two and a half minutes ago oh, in the third uh, quarter. Wait a minute, Joe. I got a question. Why would one go to college to become a janitor? You don't have to go to college to be a janitor. I wonder what that says for the flag down. I wonder what that says for the graduates of the University of Tennessee. Ball start on the offense. I suppose he volunteered to be one. <laughs> I'm sure he got paid a nice hourly wage. There he is, Jermaine Copeland. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. When we talked about him being a janitor. He said it proudly. He had no, uh, what the heck, you, get, you do what you got to do. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with being a janitor, I can tell you. Now he's playing in the XFL. I was a janitor often in the Navy. Maddox pass complete. There's some room there for Darnell McDonald. And is not playing right now for the extreme he has cramps in both calves they were working on him on the sideline he is up now and will attempt to get back in the game but for now Rashawn Sheehy is out Rashawn Sheehy this is not the homecoming he was looking for but that's why during these games you got to take that fluid you got to take it all game long or you can cramp up eat those bananas get the potassium Forward motion by L.A. Maddox throw, and what a catch. What a beautiful catch by Latario Rochelle, stretching out. Oh, nice Latario. catch. Rochelle asking for the ball, and he got it delivered, stretched out, and made a beautiful catch. He's got four catches for 41 yards this evening for the extreme. Maddox, uh, uniform pretty dirty. Maddox has had the heat on him here tonight. Just a Eagle home. Oh. Eagle to it. Oh. First and ten for L.A. Monday, Monday, ball Monday, on the 14-yard line. Get on the ball, on the ball. Ken Oxen down the tailback. L.A. needs six, not three here. Addicts looking for the end zone here. 48! 48! Look! Big blitz! He read it. He read it. Beautiful pass. Great read by Tommy Maddox. Excellent read by Maddox. He saw the blitz coming, got it out to Ryan's quick release. Good yardage, great play there for the L.A. Extreme. Look at the blitz here. Everybody coming. And there's Ryan's outside getting knocked out of bounds, but not before he picks up the first down. Second down, ball on the 10 yard line. Second to six. Maddox looking oh. to throw. Got his man. And a There's a flag coming in. Yep. Yep. They're going to call pass interference there. Darnell McDonald from Kansas State, the intended receiver. Big powerful receiver with great hands. Interfered with. Foul. The first down. And that's going to give uh, LA an automatic first and 10. And, of course, here in the XFL, you can bump and run, but not after the ball is released by the quarterback. And there you saw ball released, contact made, result interference, first and goal. First and goal on the uh, two-yard line. First down, Ray. About 10 seconds to go in the uh, third quarter here. Ace, ace, ace! Jamie, Jamie in the middle! Let the clock run out. No, he won't. Oxidon, the carry. Oh, what a tackle. Great defensive play. Great defensive play by Chicago.
think this is hot. What do you see Saturday Night Live not J-Lo? Yeah, hit by him, Jesse. J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez. She's checking her weapons at the door. Saturday Night Live may be, uh, never be hotter than it will be tonight. All right. I know you're motivated. <laughs> Big, big play here for Tommy Maddox. Maddox looking to throw the fade. Yeah. Up in the air. And we got an interception. Corey Ivey, who had two interceptions last week, the former Oklahoma Sooner. Oh, stick. man, oh, man. And that's like sticking the knife in the heart of the L.A. Extreme by blocking that ball in midfield. You might see Milanovic now because the Boo Birds are coming out here in L.A. Not happy with Tommy Maddox throwing in the coverage, getting picked off right when Los Angeles needs a touchdown at the start of the fourth quarter to get back into this game. Well, Corey Ivey was poisoned, Ivey, on that exchange. A former Oklahoma cornerback with his uh, third interception in two weeks here in the XFL. And uh, 339! Chicago ball, the 20 yard line, first and 10, 10 left to the quarterback. The dangerous John Avery gets the handoff. And Avery from Ole Miss. Nice run by Avery, right off the guts again. Here's the pass right there, Maddox firing it out there. And look at this th bad throw right to Ivy. Terrible pass right there, floated it right to him. Maddox, uh, 25 of 40 tonight. And, you know, they're playing right in Chicago's hands now. They can run the ball with Avery and use up a lot of clock here holding the lead. 12 points in the fourth quarter. Here comes Avery one more time. Avery cutting back and a nice tackle made by Matt Canale, number 75, who played right here at USC. And you know, they've set it up well, Chicago, because they came out throwing first play from scrimmage, 50-yard pass, so they've loosened up that L.A. defense. Like Avery's, oh, Avery's going to the sideline now. They can't. They don't want to lose him. LaShawn Johnson, not a bad backup, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, he's very good. Avery being, uh, will be examined he had the same, he had an injury yep. last week and came back and, Black, and still played a great game down in Orlando. Deshaun Johnson, the running back. And uh, Lester. Uh -oh. Lack of communication there. Bailey hooked up and Lester threw it long. Tommy Patterns certainly are challenged when uh, the defense is effectively using the bump and run as they can here in the XFL. So L.A. has uh, stopped Chicago with 13.23 to go in the ball game. Chicago leading by 12. The ball's got to travel 25 yards. That will make it to the 48-yard line. No fair catches in the XFL. Damon Dunn back deep to receive for Los Angeles. Crossing with a kick, nice high kick. Fielded at the 24-yard uh, line. Damon Dunn trying to find the hand. Damon Dunn, Damon Dunn out of bounds at the 45-yard line of Los Angeles. Good field position for, uh, for the extreme. 49-yard kick, 21-yard return. chance now to redeem himself absolutely still a lot of time 1254 to go a lot of football to be played yet oxidon in motion oh, oh man how, you go, how do you do number 51 kevin mcculler well, folks let's uh let you experience the sights and sounds of xfl raw how can you overrule that one not overrule this one who's going It's illegal! You can't, it's illegal! Illegal substitution! No, I won the tip ball. Nice try, though. 48! Back to live action. Maddox in the shotgun. Looking at throws, got time. And pass incomplete. And of course, JR, let's remind everybody in the XFL, you only need one foot in bounds here to catch the football, same as college. Absolutely. Pass intended for Kansas State. Sticking of college is Darnell McDonald. 
Third down and 19, huge play. Maddox's arm, uh, he's underthrowing, which is uh, indicative of a weak arm. The Ohio Spencer, first down, right? In go some folks' uh, estimation. Wait, bunch over here. Huge play for Los Angeles. Out of the shotgun again. Ball on the L.A. 36-yard line. And uh, Maddox again with a deep out. Pass complete to McDonald. McDonald's trying to make something happen, but he's brought down about the 47 or 48-yard line by Kerry Cooks, the, uh, the safety out of Iowa. Former Iowa Hawkeye on the stop. Fourth down and seven, and L.A. will not go for it here. Well, as Prefontaine into punt. But remember, Prefontaine is a quarterback. Right. He is a quarterback. Prefontaine to kick the ball. Surprise that L.A. didn't go for it here. Down 12, but nice kick by Prefontaine. He went for it earlier. Roel Preston. Takes it out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. For the score. Jimmy the Jet trying to fire. Chicago ball on their own 23-yard line. Young Tim Lester. Yeah, yeah. Out of uh, Western Michigan. Two 35 touchdown passes his senior year. Gives the ball to, John, to LaShawn Johnson. Johnson runs very well north and south. A little extracurricular here. We... we Stay cool. Stay cool. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We got to see if uh, John Avery comes back in. You know, he got injured last week, and that same injury bothered him a little bit earlier in the third quarter. Johnson in there right now, but they sure could use Avery to break one. Makes up offensive line here by, of course, Chicago. Our referee Randy Crystal telling the, the old line to keep their cool. Somebody, uh, somebody ding there. Number 96. That's uh. Against Memphis. Absolutely. That's on UPN tomorrow. Oh, nice big by Lester to get out there. Look at that beautiful run. A little bootleg by Lester. Lester picked us all out, I think, on that one. I'll tell you, Lester put that ball on his hip, and one of the defensive linemen went right by him. Nice little fake there. Lester avoiding Eric Johnson, and Eric Johnson will probably hear about that next week. Getting beat in the open field by the QB. Three, three, yeah, yeah. Third down and two. And you notice there was no slide. Billy. Our quarterbacks don't slide here. Watch out for the blitz. Big toss out on the X camp on the action. And ooh, whoa, look at that belly to belly suplex. Almost a suplex. That's a two-point takedown. Ricky Parker made the tackle. RP2. Flag on the play. A lot of flags down. Guys, uh, Get look at this. Uh-oh. Get back. Tempers are flaring out there. Some unhappy people. Let's go. The competitive nature of these passionate athletes on display for the world to see here. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's ugly. But it is spirited all the time. Al Luganville looks like he's in shock. Luganville's team has uh, had the ball for 62 plays. Did, did they toss Evans? Lamont, what happened out there? Lamont. 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 Tell me what happened out there, man. This guy's trying to take my career from me. Play is over. He rolling on the back of my legs. It's not over. Chief shot. That's all it is. He's been doing it all day. Leo Mont Harris uh, taking exception to the uh, alleged tactics of his uh, of the opponents here, and uh, the officials have had a lengthy conference. They caucus. What did they come up with, Jr. 
Usher for his offsetting. Offsetting penalty. Chicago will set up the punt. Hey, he's deep. Hey, do it again, so do it again. Replay third down. Absolutely. That gives uh, Chicago another opportunity to convert here. Uh, the ball is on the 31-yard line. Give me a roll. Third down and two. Jim Lester leading his team back on the field. Good coaching job done tonight by that man, Ron Meyer. Third down and two for Chicago. They want to keep the ball, obviously, with a 12-point lead. Yeah, number 45. 45 by 45 for the ejection. Huh? LA 45. Number 45 on LA is ejected. 45. 45 ejected. Yes, 45 yeah, yeah, ejected. The helmet. Folks, we've been joined here in our booth by the legendary Dick Buckus. And Dick, what do you think about this the Chicago the team here tonight? It's kind of surprising because yes, we are. Uh, the the training team, you know, the New Jersey and New York Hitman really jumped on them and beat them up pretty good, but uh, they came out here and did a pretty good job right away. They're pretty good. 45 just got ejected. Dick, did you ever get ejected in the game? I don't remember. Yes, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> you go one or He's taking the fifth. I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, well, here, go ahead. Look at the to John Avery. And Avery right at the gut looking for the first and ten. And it looks like he got it. Grow up, of course, in Minnesota, so we'd see a lot of those Chicago Bears. And this is the man that led the monster of the Midway for many years. Dick, I want to ask you, you know, we've taken a lot of heat from these sports writers, these columnists. Uh, I like to call them pukes because most of them have never even strapped on a helmet in their life. Well, how do you feel about that, you being one of the greatest physical players of all time? Ball on the 35-yard line. We'll get uh, Dick's response momentarily. First and 10. <laughs> Lester giving the ball to Tony and Avery, and Avery hits the hole so quick and so hard. But it closed down there for him. Yeah, baby. Well, Jesse, I don't know. I guess they're just uh, jealous or whatever, wanting it to fail. But, you know, in all of this, all the shots taken, and, you know, we didn't say we're going to be better than anybody else. We're just going to play football. And, you know, who's missing in the whole equation is the players. They're having fun. They've got some chance to, to fulfill some of their dreams. And, uh... I don't know why. Uh, it seems you know, to me, Dick, a player would never criticize another player for wanting to go out there and play ball. And that's why I know these guys have never played. Well, Avery with a handoff. You're Nothing being awful that. nice tonight, Dick. <laughs> well, you know, we, we encourage freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Yeah, but the writers can say whatever the hell they want. But it really doesn't matter. It only matters what our fans think. That's right. right. And uh, you had a, a 35,000 here. And... And uh, I don't think they just had the gates open. So, you know, uh, last week we had three out of four good games. This is, I consider, a good game tonight. Back in Orlando, they're having a good game tonight. So we see what happens tomorrow. So just give it a chance. And, you know, maybe the one writer that, you know, spoke uh, you know, not highly of us, well, he'll change his mind. Any chance, Dick, you'll come out of retirement? No. The artificial need. <laughs> no way. All right, Dick, thanks very much. Lester's All pass right. intended for Coleman, incomplete. And uh, the former uh, male dancer, John Jockey, was on the, uh, on the coverage there. Every kid in America wanted to be number 51 if they had any guts. You went across. He danced in front of ladies at bachelorette parties. <laughs> How do you know this, Jay? I do my homework. Were you there? No, sir. Oh. Chicago kicking the ball away. Crossed on the high kick. Damon Dunn got a catch. Fumble. Fumble. Fumble ball. And uh, he got it back. Sure did. No fair catches in the XFL. Can L.A. get back in this ball game? That's the question. Watch out. Wow, that was close. I know. You almost got... You know what you might run into.
Tommy Maddox has experienced some slobber knocker hits here tonight. Not had a bad night, but he has been punished. Three sacks, hit 10 times, 11 hurries. And most critical, the two interceptions, the two picks he's thrown, one in the end zone. 48! Man, man in motion. And I'm not expect to throw. Got the heat and incomplete. Big night on here on NBC, an all-new Saturday Night Live, live tonight. Hosted by J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez. I wonder what she's going to be wearing tonight, or what she's not going to be wearing. First down, right? Second ten. Jason Cholak, defensive end out of Washington, putting a big hit on Maddox the last play, right as he released the ball. Cork's a hoss, no doubt about it. And completed pass. Maddox to Jermaine Copeland, and Copeland's having a, a huge night. You know, with the explosiveness of Copeland, they're not out of this game. All they need to do is get down there and get points on this drive, and L.A. could pull this thing out yet. Copeland, 11 catches, 108 yards tonight. But the uh, key stat there, no touchdowns for Copeland. L.A. only 5 of 12 on third downs. Copeland again, catching his tough ball. Uh, what in this ball game favored by six they are down 12. and the clock becoming the enemy of the la extreme right now the short passes are nice they're marching down the field but they're also chewing up time maddox again looking to throw has run and run and maddox up to the 45 yard line of chicago casey daly for a Northwestern graduate. A lot of Big Ten players here in the Chicago team making the play. Smart play that time by Tommy Maddox. Receivers were open. He tucked it in rather than trying to force the pass and got a good run out of, the, out of it. Sunday, 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 Sunday. No huddle here for uh, L.A. Go, go! Maddox oh, has a flag, too, but he caught it anyway. Latario Rochelle with a completion. And uh, we have Second got flag. two flags. Maddox, uh, I got a late hit on 54. No, 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 late hit on 54. Yeah, you heard it. Before. That's a big completed pass here. Okay, this is what I get. They're going to pass it. Yes, they did. They're going to tap that on. Yep, they'll, okay. they'll step off get. another they'll 15 turn that here. down because they got that continuing action. Okay. We'll go. Where are we? We'll go a full 15 from this yeah. spot right here. Bingo. Okay. We had nice interference on what number? Number 59. 59. 54. 54. The uh, former Ohio State Buckeye, a little overzealous. I know we're going to go 15 yards. Costing his uh, team 15 yards here. Run, that's right. Okay. You, you got it. So uh, Tommy Maddox uh, getting a break there on that penalty, quite frankly. 15 yards added on. Key thing here is that LA's got a, they need a touchdown now. Oh, absolutely. They get a touchdown, then they can option for an onside kick if they want. They can pooch it down and get it partway down there. A lot of options open if LA gets the score right here, but they got to get this one, JR. Well, it's not over, I can tell you that. Oh, oh, the guy, yeah. the guy uh, like Maddox. Man. You know, Maddox has got a great arm. He just has got to get hot. And especially with wide receivers like McDonald and Copeland. Maddox 29 of 47 tonight. Three, 300 more Most yards. Favorite. Monday. Go! 48! Four wide outs and a man in motion. Oxidon in motion. Empty backfield. He's going to throw. Oh, pass. Oh. It's a double pass. The gadget play. And it's incomplete. Jermaine Copeland recruited at Tennessee to play quarterback, but he couldn't beat out a guy by the name of Peyton Manning. But Copeland shows that he can throw the ball. I'll tell you, J.R., I love the idea, though. I love the play. That's action right there. Maddox to Copeland. The backward pass to Copeland. Copeland trying to hit Ryans in the end zone. Almost succeeded. Look at he's wide open. Second 10, 21 yard line. Maddox back to throw. It's Ryan's. Ryan's again from Clemson with the completion. But the, the clock Rose, is an enemy Rose, here. Rose, Rose. Yeah, the over under one time looked like a lock. But there's been no scoring Sunday, up Sunday, here Sunday. in the second half. Over under in this game was 47. Go! I thought he went down, though. 
Maddox, quick oh, out, incomplete. Great defensive play. Maddox doing more fishing. Sanders with an excellent coverage at the cornerback spot right there. Fourth down is the key thing to remember here. Fourth and four. Did you get that? Run speed out. Okay. Deuce left. Deuce left. Lotus on one, right? Yeah. Lock is running. Three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Go. LA must convert here. Fourth down. Big fourth down play. Maddox, three step drop. Got it. Pass complete. Copeland again. And Copeland enough for the first and ten. Copeland having a hell of a night here. And the clock continues to run here in the XFL. And LA continues to go without a huddle at this point. Copeland's 13 catch. 134 yards for the former Tennessee ball. Sunday, 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 Sunday. No, it's Saturday. Go. Maddox again. Looking for the end zone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a hit. What a touchdown. Wow. My God, what a hit. What a touchdown. A touchdown for Los Angeles. Damon Dunn got killed by Corey Ivey. But Dunn held on. Now the referees are meeting in the end zone. What's going on Good here? Good job, baby. That way you're not quit. That way. Referees having a conference. Touchdown, there it is. And not uh, LA uh, right. There's a there's a margin here. LA now. Trailing by seven. Charlie, right? Ball to left hand. Fifteen Charlie. Let's go trip, trip. Fifteen Charlie. First down, right? They're gonna run trips. Fifteen Charlie, first down. Or LA trips to the uh to the right. Top of your screen. Three wide receivers. Oxidine in the backfield. Big toss out to Damon Dunn, but nothing doing here. So L.A. Goes with them six. Nice job, nice job. Go. I got to look at the touchdown. Here's Maddox going back. There's the pass. Look at this. Whoa, man. How he held on to that ball. Unbelievable. That's the kind of hit we love here in the XFL. You'll see it every week. Oh, man, that's a lot of football. I thought you just looked up at the scoreboard. How did you hold out of that pass? It's part of the game. Sometimes you got to take a big hit, get your team back in the game, so hopefully we can stop them, make a big play on offense. We expect the onside kick here. Man, we're having a... And you know, you know what's critical right now? Those early timeouts that were used, JR, at the start of the third quarter and all that. Two timeouts and a two minute, okay? Here Al Luganville, the coach of L.A. They have two timeouts remaining to the enforcers and the two-minute warning. You know, and that leaves an option. You may not onside kick. You might want to drill it deep and see if your defense can stop them. Well, the uh, L.A. certainly uh, seeming to line up. On defense. As if they're going to kick it deep. It's going to be fun. See what Luganville, what call he makes. The XFL is fun in general. I tell you, I love this. I love this. You one. gotta love the guy. Remember at the start of the third quarter, he goes for that fourth and one, takes a chance, comes out looking horrible on it. Turned out to be a great football game here on a chilly night in Los Angeles. Chicago leading 25 to 19. They're going deep. Yes, yeah, side kick. Kicking deep. And John Avery returns the kick. Avery at the 10 yard line. Avery looking for somewhere to go. You better get him down. Exciting six yard return to the ball game. <laughs> Tim Lester has had a hell of a ball game. The young man, 7 of 12, 189 yards and one touchdown, no interceptions for the young man. Let's go. First down, ready? I'm not giving you the ball. LA has two timeouts remaining. They have the two minute warning. Good. <laughs> Lesser sliding to stay in bounds. <laughs> oh, baby. What's he doing out there sliding, making a liar out of me, Jr. Well, he—I uh, don't. He wants to live to fight another day. <laughs> he's a—he's a math major. He's a smart kid. Well, with a 
timeout, the 10-minute warning, the U.S. Army presents victories in life. Tim Lester, a four-year starter in Western Michigan, has 17 Western Michigan passing records. And tonight he's 7-12, 189 yards, and a touchdown. But this ball game ain't over. Don't go anywhere. A lot more football left. G13, February 23rd, only in theaters. Well, we're getting Jennifer Lopez live tonight, hosting Saturday Night Live. We've got a barn burner here, second down and three. Ball on the 24-yard line for Chicago. They lead by six with two minutes to go in this football game. The historic uh, Coliseum here in Los Angeles. And rock and roll. That's in a lot of great football. <laughs> And we're seeing more here tonight. LaShawn Johnson, the tailback, running behind Charles Wiley. Oh, 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 oh. They're taking a time out there. Good play by a mass of the I L.A. defense right there. Yeah, they got to use their timeouts. Third down now. L.A. has one timeout remaining. Chicago gets the first down at this point. It's going to be real uh, difficult. So the L.A. defense has got to get the job done the if they're going to win the game. Timeout. 30-second timeout. Each team has one timeout remaining. Big uh, day tomorrow in the XFL on uh, TNN and UPN. Hope you'll be with us. Some uh, great football. Birmingham at New York. The Hitman return uh, for their home opener. And then when you're done watching football, you get to watch my buddy KG, Kevin Garnett, of the Timberwolves, the NBA All-Star game tomorrow night. NBA All-Star game here on NBC at 6. Eastern time from our nation's capital. No, I'm down. You know, KG's got an XFL hat I gave him. They're down and one. The heavy backfield. And for Chicago, LaShawn Johnson. Oh, they held it. But uh, nothing doing. This offensive line of Chicago has been decimated by injuries tonight. L.A. just called their last time. And definitely haunt them. Excellent point. Octavius Bishop with a broken leg tonight. Chris Perez yeah. uh, with an MCL injury. We don't know the extent of it as of yet. Baby. And Andy Cross on the big left footer who played uh, down at the, the Rocks. Ball got to make it to the 50 to be free. And uh, back to receive. Uh, oh, oh, there's a flag. There's a flag. No play. Flag before the uh, snap, and looks like it's going to be a false start on the offense. So it's working out for L.A. They push him back five yards more. Prior to the snap, false start number 46 on the offense. It'll be a five-yard penalty and remain fourth down. J.R. Tommy Maddox looking like he'll get the ball back, but no timeouts. Maddox uh, has uh, thrown 51 passes tonight, completed 32 of them for 324 yards. Two touchdowns, but two interceptions as well. And again, Crossan will try to get a kickoff. Remember, Chicago blocked the kickoff yeah, earlier. L.A. Would, could use a block right here. Good snap. And Crossan gets a kick away. Damon Dunn at the 44-yard line. Dunn trying to turn the corner, ran out of bounds. Inside Chicago territory at the 48. It's all about the money and the, and the passion. There you go, quarterbacks, 5,000 a game. All other players, 4,500 kickers, 3,500. $2,500 bonus per player for each win in every game. And of course, when the playoffs arrive, 7,500 per player in the playoffs. And then they split a million for the winning team at the big game at the end. Jess, you think it's uh, gonna be Jermaine Copeland again? That's been uh, the go-to guy tonight. It's going to the pro. And right in the hands of Darnell McDonald. Oh, was it me? Or was it Copeland? 60 Ohio. Remember, we got to get out of bounds. That was a drop ball. This Copeland uh, dropped. He didn't, hasn't dropped many. He's caught 13 balls tonight for 134 huh? yards. Hey, who was that to? Me? Well, more inside. Trim, trim, 60 Ohio. 60 Ohio. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 
Little confusion on the route there. Ball to 49 yards. Oh, second down 10. Maddox, quick out. And a quick out successful to Latario Rochelle, who goes out of bounds and starts the clock. We have a final in Orlando. Good ball game down there. Orlando remains undefeated. They beat San Francisco 26 to 14 tonight. And we are one here, JR, going to the wire. Ball on the 37 yard line. Minute 23 to go. Doro. Maddox under center. Not in the shotgun. Maddox over the middle. And he may put them trying to make something happen after the catch. Dangerous play with no timeouts. The clock keeps running. Rose, 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 Rose. Rose Sunday. Maddox again looking to throw. The quick out. Complete. On the ball, on the ball. And L.A. Chipping her, away, chipping her way right down deep in Chicago territory against Jermaine Copeland. Be careful, Deuce. Ray 16. Be careful. Lynn, Lynn. Lynn 16. Lynn 16. Lynn 16. You know what? Lynn 16. They're down on the 24, but you know what's interesting here, JR? If they score, how big the extra point will be here in the XFL because we don't kick them. It's not an automatic. Buck is running. Tommy Maddox got the throw. Oh! the ball it's going to stop the clock at 50 seconds to go in the ball game la's down by six but the ball is on the 24 yard line of chicago and the uh the herbal tea sippers that left early are going to be uh kicking themselves in the butt we're leaving early jess they're missing a great one here safety blitz look oh, out he's got a man There's a where with it all from the football. Oh! Real time right there. There he juggles it. No good. No good. Landing out of bounds. I think it was a good call. Tommy Maddox made a great read right there because they came with a safety blitz, which left single coverage out there. He delivered the ball, but the receiver couldn't hold on. And Jason Bray made a big tackle. Good play here. Tommy Maddox, another quick out. And incomplete. Corey Ivey, the defender, is all come down to this. 39 seconds to go in the ball game. Fourth down and 10. Ball at the 24-yard line. Let's go trip, trip. Lynn eight, first down, right? Well, you can take the chance now and go over the middle if you have to, because if you get the first down, they'll stop the clock to set the yard marker. This is for the money. Maddox, back to throw. Got time. Into the end zone. He's got it. He caught it. It's a good thing to go. Can you expect Ken Oxen on the Ox to get the call here? Come here. Chicago's taking time out. Huge nine, 16 catches, 170 yards. The last one for 23 yards. That put the LA in business at the one yard line. It was a great play by Copeland here. Maddox getting hit as he throws it. Double coverage, and Copeland comes down with the football at the one. 44, first down, right? Ball the one yard line, Los Go Angeles right looking for a touchdown. The Ox, Ken Oxendine, and deep in the backfield. Oxendine gets a carry, touchdown! Touchdown, and we got a tie ball game. And this extra point is going to be for all the money.
In the end zone. No! Broken up. Ball broken up by Corey Ivy. And we may be headed to overtime. And if you ever seen a XFL overtime, you ain't seen nothing yet, as they say. Yeah. All right. And Los Angeles won the scramble for the ball, so they'll get it in overtime if they if they want it, which I'm sure they do. Man, what a great ball game. Maddox, 59 passes tonight, 36 completions, 372 yards. Here you go, baby. Maddox, the emotional leader of this L.A. team. And, yeah. We're going to take the ball in overtime. Yeah. We just heard Al Luganville say, we're going to take the ball in overtime. Here's the touchdown, Oxenbag with a straight dive play, good drive blocking by the front of the L.A. Extreme line, and they tied it in. Rashawn Sheehy on the sideline. Here's the extra point play, looking for Copeland. And nice, nice play by Corey Ivey. Here's a scramble that got us all started. That L.A. won. That means L.A. will have their they have their option in the overtime if we get that far in the next 24 seconds. Squib kick, low liner. Ball to the hands of Roel Preston. Feels it on the six. Preston back up the middle and got to the 25-yard line. 18-yard return, Eric Harris. I'll tell you what, Jesse, in overtime, uh, the teams uh, will start the ball at the 20-yard line. You can't get a first and 10. You get four downs. But if uh, L.A., let's, for example, has the ball in overtime first, they score in their first play. That means Chicago has got to score on their first play. play. That's right. you got to match the team. And uh, it looks like uh, Lester, who kind of went into Hibernation, the young uh, Chicagoan in the second half, has not had a great second half. 18 Let seconds to go, J.R., and it'll be the first overtime in XFL history. And uh, the quick dump off to Avery. Avery trying to make something happen. Stays in bounds. Now their team can stop the clock. They have no timeouts remaining. You know, J.R., wouldn't the National Football League have loved to have had a Super Bowl like this? Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. It's been over three or four years. Well, okay. folks, we can have a play in the overtime on this. Theater. We're just back where we started. It's an even ball game. 25 to 25 at the end of regulation. And we're going to settle it here in overtime. Let's take a look at the rules of overtime. Here's the rules yes. of overtime. Can you top this? Each team has four downs to score from the opponent's 20-yard line. If the first team scores, the second team must match the score and the, in the same number of downs. The first team cannot attempt a field goal until fourth down. That's the only time you can go for a field goal. And the way our kicker's been kicking tonight, that don't look too likely, Jr. Well, I tell you what, we have some great football, and the way these guys are kicking or not, I don't think uh, that's got to be a last resort as far as field goal kicking is concerned. You know, Jr. and if you heard Tommy Maddox earlier tonight, if they go for a field goal, who knows what he's going to do because he's already made his mind known on field goal attempts they could be fourth and 20 and he'll still want to throw the ball maddox is uh, very emotional he's yelling everybody inside the referees his own coach and everybody else what's over there coming up tonight right here on nbc jennifer lopez is patiently waiting on us to finish this overtime back in new york and she'll be hosting saturday night live and on an all-new episode tonight uh, in new york city and we've got overtime here in Los Angeles. And uh, we were wrong. It will be yeah, LA, Chicago. Chicago on first. L.A. wants to see what Chicago can do. Four plays to score. Here we go. Ball on the 20-yard line. 
Chicago missing both offensive tackles in this makeshift offensive line. Young Tim Lester needs to get hot here. There's a quick dump off to Roel Preston. Preston trying to make oh, the well. Roel Preston avoids the tackle. The, then the 15 and down to the 12-yard line. Ball comes loose, but ruled down. A great bit of running after the catch. He started on one side of the field and hey, brought it all the way back to the other. Remember uh, somebody injured out there? Replays the score now. No first and tens in overtime. Oh, erupt, got erupted. He's going to run off the field. The ex-Marine shows you just how physical it has been. Erupt leaving the field. It has been a slobber knocker here tonight. So much physicality. Chicago has three downs to score. The ball is on the 12-yard line of Los Angeles, and we are in overtime. Lester looking to throw. Oh, he just overshot it. Lester looking uh, for Royal Preston. Stood to the spot, but Preston couldn't get there. And now we are down, as far as Chicago is concerned, for two downs to score in this OT. So, JR, we've lost a few players to the hospital tonight, but on a different note, Mrs. Milanovic hasn't gone yet. Mrs. Milanovic, uh, four or five days past due with the first baby. And uh, we have no word on that, uh, thank goodness. Rip, I'm just saying, if we go to trips and run Here we go. and they still Two get that three, score. now they've been going to two, but if they still go to three. Lester back to throw, get being it. pressured, Stop. looking, and Lester's got some room to run, but he's looking to throw, yeah. and throws it in, it. touchdown! Touchdown, Chicago! On the first play. The touchdown to John Avery. And John Avery does it on the ground, this time catching a touchdown pass from Tim Lester, who, who showed a, a hell of a lot of composure. He showed me a hell of a lot of brand targeting. We're going to have the extra point here. And then uh, L.A. will have three downs to score when they get possession on the 20-yard line. Little bit of uh, Chicago, not sure what they're doing here. They're bringing a big shift out there. Maybe, well, they got time yet. 20 seconds on the play clock, so they can get it off. Big extra point here tonight. Nobody been very successful with yeah. extra points. The big backfield, Chicago and Johnson and Wiley. Man in motion. And uh, there's the no little belly. And Lester's in. Lester's in for the extra point. A big extra point. And what a heady play. Great call by Chicago. I'll, I'll tell you, JR, I've been on the fake. I was watching the guy go over the top. Excellent play by Lester. Fake me out. Obviously faked out the Los Angeles Extreme. That was a great series by Tim Lester leading the, the Chicago enforcers to the touchdown and the extra point. Still go to three. Here's Lester going yeah. back. Look at this. Almost hit there. Ducks back out again. Still looking, looking. Then finds Avery in the end zone. Here's from a different angle. The rush is on. Fake once. Gets away again. Sees Avery. Fires it in there. There's the touchdown for Chicago. Only a second pro start for young Tim Lester out of Western Michigan. He was teaching algebra just a few weeks ago. And he found the right equation. It's a touchdown. And Chicago up by seven. Now, Tommy Maddox has three plays to score here. Yeah. Three downs. Man in motion. Three step drop by Maddox. There's a play. And the pass intended for the Terry Rochelle. And uh, Los Angeles is down to two plays, Jesse the Body Ventura. Two you know, plays. This is a pretty unique overtime concept. It's the first one, of course, I've seen, and it's it's exciting, JR. It's interesting. In your face, Great football. On, right? Here we go. Two plays to go from the 20. This ain't your granddaddy's football, I'll tell you. Maddox got some time. Tipped. Incomplete. And now we are down to this. It is do or die for Tommy Maddox and the LA Extreme. Hey, Brian! For David X, you got Tripp, 60 Georgia. It has to be in the end zone. This is the last play. Tripp, 60 Georgia. Make a play. So they're going to use the trip Georgia formation again to go up on the end zone. L.A. has waited six and a half years for pro football to return. Hey, and they're singing dandy here tonight. 
One final play for Tommy Maddox. Three wide receivers all going to the end zone. Maddox throws the down. Reverse the orders here. Jermaine Coker finally unleashed his X spot dance. Please. And now Stand Tommy back. Maddox has four downs here Go. from the 20 yard line. Go. And Maddox, tipped. ball tipped and incomplete. Three plays left to score, JR. L.A. down at three downs. Georgia. Now be careful with the ball. Let's go Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Zeus, 60 Georgia. First down, right? Hold, hold. He's going to need some money to get uh, recuper to recuperate here. Go. He's been on his backside a lot tonight. Back to throw again. Now it's looking deep in the end zone. Ball tipped and incomplete. Nice play. Two plays to score for the L.A. Extreme. Maddox has thrown 63 passes tonight. Now, here's the dilemma. If he fails on the third, do they attempt the field goal, J.R.? Well, I'll tell you what. I, that's a tough, that's a tough, tough, tough question. Uh, Cortez has not had a good night. 0 for 2. He's missed two 34-yarders. I don't know. I might take my chance with the Copeland and Maddox. You got to go to Copeland here, I would think. He's the money man. Maddox oh. looking to throw. And snap for the two-yard line. 412 Jeez. yards Jeez. passing tonight. And that run up the gut. Ken Oxidine, right up the middle, one and a part of Chicago. 39-32, LA Extreme lead. But Chicago gets their chance, Jesse Ventura, but, in overtime. But only three plays, JR. Look at this touchdown here. 
McDonald. Maddox throws it up there. Catches it, and here comes the booty dance. JR, you can do that. I think I, I might put my back out. And here's the extra point. Nothing fancy about this. Oxidon running north and south behind his shoulder pads. 39-32, three plays to score here. In our second overtime for Chicago, Tim Lester has the ball. 20-yard line for the enforcers. Lester back to throw. And the pass is broken up and incomplete. Junior Lord, the intended receiver. Lester very composed for a 23-year-old making his second pro start. I bet Jennifer Lopez is enjoying this. Should be opening Saturday Night Live tonight. Two downs to score for Chicago. Great football game here in the Coliseum in Los Angeles. We are in our second overtime. Chicago trailing by seven. Lester in a shotgun. Throws over the middle, complete. Down to the 15-yard line. And we are down, down to one as Junior Lord makes the catch. JR, they got to put it in now or they go back to Chicago. They'll be setting this up here. LA favored by six in this ball game. They are ahead by seven. Chicago been away from home for well over a month. They're down to one play. Lester looking for the end zone. Lester throw. And it's incomplete. No fly down. No fly down. And this ball game is over. Football. Pro football is back in Los Angeles, California. And the extreme have beaten Chicago. 39 to 32 in two overtime. the NBA All-Star Game from Washington, D.C. Coming up next to local news and setting out live for Justin the Bonnie Ventura. I'm Jim Ross. It has been one hell of a night. I'll tell you, Jimbo, double overtime when we team up. We'll be back next week from Las Vegas where we'll see L.A. again. Good night, everybody. From the time... Gentlemen, please give a warm.